You may have heard of the famous discovery of classical conditioning by the Russian physiologist Ivan Pavlov at the beginning of the 20th century. Dr. Pavlov quite by accident discovered that he could pair a behavioral reflex such as salivating to something that did not previously trigger salivation, such as a metronome. Later psychologists discovered that all sorts of reflexes, such as blinking or emotional responses like fear or happiness, could be linked to all different kinds of stimuli through the processes of classical conditioning. Now we will demonstrate how a dog can become classically conditioned to salivate in response to a small little boy. Initially, prior to learning, the dog does not salivate in response to the boy. But then something quite funny starts to happen. The little boy begins to inadvertently classically condition the dog by feeding him over and over and over and over and over and over again. Due to the repeated pairings of the little boy with the food causing salivation, the little boy with the food causing salivation, the boy himself begins to trigger salivation and now classical conditioning has occurred. Let's quickly review what happened using the formal terminology of classical conditioning. Initially, the boy is a neutral stimulus because he does not trigger any form of behavioral response. Mm -hmm. But through multiple pairings of the boy, neutral stimulus, with the food, an unconditioned stimulus, mm -hmm. that triggers salivation, an unconditioned response, the boy is now a conditioned stimulus who automatically triggers salivation, a conditioned response. As mentioned earlier in the video, classical conditioning learning can occur in all types of contexts with many different forms of stimuli and many different types of behavioral responses becoming linked together.